you probably want to see this video because you want to hear what is the advice that changed my career as a designer. I'm going to tell you that, but that's actually not the point of this video. Hey designers, what's up? Today I want to share a story with you, but the takeaway from the story is not actually the tip that I got. It's actually the fact that I actually took action on the advice that I got and taking action is what actually led to this transformation in my business. It's kind of like this, the butterfly effect. If you know the concept of the butterfly effect, it means that you know a little flap of butterfly somewhere in, I don't know, Brazil can create a tornado somewhere in China or whatever because of the little effects that grows, grows, grows over time. And I think that this story is kind of like a butterfly effect. So here's basically the story. A um, few months ago, over seven months ago, I started working with a coach, with a business coach. And one of the first things that he told me was kind of, you know, just, just a small thing on top of the important things that we're talking about. He said, by the way, you should follow Alan Weiss on Twitter. Alan Weiss is uh, an author of The Million Dollar Consultant, and he's he talks a lot about consulting and stuff like that. So we were talking about, you know, some core concepts from what he was discussing. And he said, you know, by the way, you should follow him on Twitter because sometimes he has valuable things to say. And so, you know, I just took action on that small advice, didn't take, uh, you know, more than just a click on the follow button on Twitter, started following him, and indeed he had some really interesting tweets every once in a while. Now, a few weeks or even a month later, I one day I opened Twitter and I saw this tweet that was saying something like, um, what is the transformation that you're doing for your clients? Because you probably don't discuss this too much. And reading this tweet actually led me down a path of actually thinking, what is the value and transformation that I create for my clients? And thinking about this, I realized that honestly, I did not have a really concrete answer to um, to articulate this well enough. And so I understood this. I actually told this back to my coach. He was like, yeah, you know what? I was thinking about this this uh, advice from Alan Weiss that I heard, um, and I'm not, I'm not sure I have a good answer. And, and we were discussing this, and so another action came out of this was like, hey, how about we go back and talk to your old clients and figure out together with them what was the transformation that you did for them? So notice there are already three actions that happened. So the first one was my coach for following Alan Weiss. That was one action I took. Now the second action was seeing a tweet and taking action on it and thinking about this and discussing this. Now the third action was, hey, let's actually do something about this and discuss this with clients and figure out what was the real transformation I did for them. So that led me down a kind of a rabbit hole of starting to talk with my past clients and really understanding what my core value is as a designer and based on that I kind of led me into develop a new kind of offering which I've, I've mentioned on the YouTube it was kind of like the virtual chief creative officer which I've piloted with one of my clients to a, a very big success and that was kind of something that really transformed my business because it helped me to really clarify what my value is how I can um, offer that value to my clients in a new format which was very like much more valuable for my clients but also so much more profitable for me and that really helped to transform my business now in 2018. So here's the takeaway from the story. The takeaway is that not you know follow Alan Wise on Twitter although you probably should. The thing is that you take actions and even those actions are sometimes so small. You know, you get advice, you take on an action. That action might be as small as follow somebody on Twitter. Then you get another advice, you follow that up as well. And you have to take those small and small actions all the time. You take consistent action and the end result of that is that, you know, you come up with, in my example, the, the end result was a completely new business model and offering which was much more profitable for me and much more valuable for my clients and that ended up as being a very big transformation for me this year and so the takeaway is you need to take a lot a lot a lot of those butterfly flaps of wings and try to create this huge tornado so you can't oh you know a lot of times we're looking for this one advice that is completely going to transform are like the secret, the shortcut that is going to transform our business or whatnot, or you know, the, the hack. But the truth is that a lot of times it's taking on a lot of small, simple action, like basic action, and following up on that and taking the next step and the next step and the next step 
that ends up with the great, really important um, action and transformation in our business. So hopefully that kind of switch your mind to stop looking for that one single advice, but actually taking action on you know the advice that you get every day. Because you probably already have some very good advice. You know, if not if not from this YouTube channel, then from many other people, you get advice. You know you, what you should be doing, but a lot of times you're just not taking action. So take action consistently all the time and bring in that tornado to transform your business. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you next time.